Hello and welcome to Baggers View. I'm Paul Bradley and I'm joined on the phone now by West Bromwich Albion correspondent Chris Lipkowski. Hi, Chris. Hi. Well, it's just a brief update on transfers today. Um, what can you tell us at the moment regarding the likes of uh, Hargreaves? Um, well, yeah, I mean, Hargreaves is a, an intriguing one. He's obviously a free transfer, uh, or rather a free agent, uh, I, should, I should say, following his release from Man U. He's got injury problems. We know that he, I think he made about 27 appearances in four years for Man United. And he's compiled a, a YouTube uh, video uh, of, to try and prove his fitness. And, and Roy Hodgson is keen to talk to him. Um, He's identified that he is a player who would bring experience and, and a lot of value to the team if he was fit, and that's going to be the big problem. Um, he needs to prove that he is capable of being fit and he is capable of playing regular football. And on the front of uh, other maybe strikers who might be mm. joining West Brom, there's been a lot of rumours about Shane Long over the last few days and weeks. What's the latest and kind of what's the truth behind that? Yeah, I mean, Shane Long was a name I mentioned uh, last week or the week before. Albion had asked about him earlier in the summer. Um, they're one of several clubs to have asked Reading about Long. Uh, the, the problem is Reading simply want a lot of money at the moment, talking 8 to 10 million now. Uh, there were reports today that West Brom are ready to go in with a bit of eight million. I find that very, very hard to believe. Um, no club would would make their initial bid so high. I suspect that if Albion do make an offer, and I know that he's a player that Roy really does want, um, if Albion do make an offer, it'll be substantially less. And one or two things will happen, um, or one of the few things will happen. Reading, I suspect, will turn it down and they'll continue to chat over the coming weeks, or Albion will move on, or it'll be one that might get done later in the window when prices do start to fall down a bit and teams do become a little bit more anxious to move on players than they can get good money for. But uh, on the face of it, at least, it seems that Roy Hodgson's pretty serious about getting a decent quality strike partner to uh, to partner Odden Wingy up front. Well, yeah, there are two, that he, he, there are two positions he, he really is keen to fill. Um, the goalkeeper position. Um, <laughs> strangely, having having said that Albion probably wouldn't make a move for Ben Foster last week, they then went and made the move for Ben Foster the following day. Um, you know, it's just an indication of how quickly things can change. And you know, they had some kind of initial talks. Birmingham won a lot of money. Um, I suspect Rob Green will come onto the agenda. He probably won't cost as much. Um, you know, we can argue whether he's as good as Ben Foster, I suppose, but, he, you know, he, he certainly won't cost as much money and, and he's one who's potentially available. And I think Roy's made it clear, really, that he wants to bring in a spark and goalkeeper as a matter of urgency. And we have seen a, a few rumours floating around that um, a fee was agreed for Liam Ridgewell. That, that wasn't the case. Um, so people jump into conclusions. But there is still an interest in, in Liam Ridgewell and other other defenders uh, who can play centre half, you know, also being looked at. But at the moment, it's still it's starting to uh, step up a little bit. But it, it's still a quiet period in in the one respect that a few clubs have gone away on pre-season tours already. Albion being among them. So it's a case of really just waiting to see how the next few weeks pan out. Um, I suspect that there'll be a lot of posturing going on between clubs in the coming weeks and Albion will be involved in that. OK, well, it sounds like there's still a bit of business to be done before the season starts. Chris, thanks for your thoughts today. Thank you. And we'll be back again soon with more Baggers View.